what is up guys this is your boy andy matrix and whatever it is that you're doing stop okay i think this is pretty important because i talked about in the anime industry how like anime voice actors are underpaid you know like funimation and crunchyroll and other companies well i mean there's really only two right now but anime anime voice actors are underpaid ridiculously right and it looks like it's, it looks like it's the same thing for the video game industry. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm assuming it's the same for the video game industry, right? And we have somebody that that's speaking out finally. I, I you know, we, we hear it a lot. We hear it a lot from the anime anime voice actors. We don't hear it a lot from uh, video game voice actors because I'm just assuming because video games are more profitable that you know they pay their actors more. But let's find out. Because here we have Helena Taylor, who is the voice actor for Bayonetta. She did Bayonetta 1, Bayonetta 2. And she is saying that for Bayonetta 3, they only offered her $4,000 for the whole game. Right? So here at IGN, says Bayonetta voice actor Helena Taylor says she didn't reprise the role of Bayonetta 3 as she was only offered $4,000. This is really cheap for an entire game. They should be getting paid at least $20,000. $20,000 for a whole game, right? Like, this is freaking ridiculous. Like, I, I'm, I'm actually on her side. Now, because she is a woman, because she's a woman, some people are going to try to turn this political. Like, you see, you see, um, women in Hollywood don't get paid a lot of money. Don't even try it. Please don't even try it. Okay, this is voice actors, male and female. Same thing in the anime, anime industry, male and female. We're, they're underpaid. That's just how it is. Let's go ahead and hear what she has to say. So, here we go. Hello, my name's Helena Taylor, and I am the voice of Bayonetta, and I would like... By the way, her voice is absolutely beautiful. Like, if you, you, you hear Bayonetta in here. You hear the Bayonetta. Oh, my goodness. I love her voice. To explain to you why I didn't voice Bayonetta 3. Bayonetta franchise made an approximated $450 million. That's not including merchandise. As an actor, I trained for a total of seven and a half years. Three years at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art, Lambda, with voice coach Barbara Barkery, and four and a half years with the legendary Larry Moss in Los Angeles. And what did they think this was worth? What did they offer to pay me? The final offer to do the whole game as a buyout, a flat rate, was four thousand U.S. dollars. This is an four thousand U.S. dollars for her first for, and first of all for her level of education, and she already look, she's already been in Bayonetta one, Bayonetta two. And Bayonetta franchise has sold, I think, over $2 million. We'll talk about that a little later. But she, you know, like, she's already been in two games of the franchise. And they only offered her for $4,000. If anything, if anything, the longer you are with a company and the longer you're with a franchise, they should be paying you more money. She should be getting like at least like 25, 50% more than she made last time. Because I'm assuming she didn't, you know, she didn't paid, she didn't get paid $4,000 the first time uh, for the first game. I'm just assuming, right? So let's hear what she has to say. Insult to me, the amount of time that I took to work on my talent and everything that I have given to this game and to the fans. I am asking the fans to boycott this game and instead spend the money that you would have spent on this game donating it to charity. I agree. I didn't want the world. I didn't ask for too much. I was just asking for a decent dignified living wage what they did was legal but it was immoral and it's true and it's true and especially nintendo 
especially Nintendo, they do this all the time. It's like they, you know, they uh, they use their, their employees. And, and what she said is right. They, what this company is doing, what Nintendo and other, and other ga- gaming studios do, it is legal, but it's absolutely immoral. It's like they pay you pennies, but like for her level of education, she should be getting paid more for seven years. And again, she's already been in two Bayonetta games with that voice. That British boy, she should be, she should be making like twenty, like twenty thousand, thirty thousand per game, because and I actually did some research. Bayonetta sold about, if you go to Wikipedia, it sold about two million copies with the first and second game, and the third game is obviously gonna sell even more copies, especially if it goes on PC. I mean, I don't know if it will, but if it does go on PC or PlayStation, it's gonna sell even more. So you know, Nintendo and you know, Platinum Games and the studio, they're being cheap shit. They're being total, total, total cheap shits, right? And, oh, man. Oh, man. This is, I, I, I'm on her side, man. I'm on her side. That's that's just way too low. That's just way too low. It's like, imagine, imagine spending like seven years, ten years to become a doctor, Right, and then you get hired by a hospital, and they tell you, "Oh, you're only gonna make thirty thousand dollars a year as a doctor." What? Are you kidding me? As a doctor, after ten years, I should be making eighty thousand dollars a year or six figures, over six figures as a doctor. But hey, uh, let me know what you guys think. This is a big deal. This is serious. Um, I hope more voice actors keep speaking out because this company, these companies have a lot of money. And they're paying you dimes, just just quarters and nickels and shit, pennies, you know, compared to what they should be paying you. Especially, again, she's been with the company, with the game for years. So, comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, guys, for future notifications. This is your boy, Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching and listening. Godspeed.